Trials is back, guys. I'm so freaking excited. You have no idea. I mean, like, back in the day, before the videos, before I Twitch streamed, and even before Destiny 2, I used to Sherpa for, you know, King's Fall, and it, it came to the point where some nights I was doing that raid, like, six times in one day. And that's how I actually ended up becoming a Sherpa for Trials, and I was helping people go to the lighthouse. And, you know, that's why Trials is important to me. I really like PvP content. As you can tell by the footage in the background, it's what I do. But honestly though, how can you not be excited? As people that like fashion, and as people that like all the cool armor sets that Bungie releases and sometimes re-releases, um, how can you not be excited on all the possible, you know, combinations that we can make with these sets? But anyway, small rant aside, um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check down below for my Discord link because, you know, I set up a Discord for all of us so that way we can nerd out about different armor sets and, you know, what you have going on. And how about this? In celebration for Trials, if I get, let's say, more than 50 likes on this video by next Wednesday, my next video that I upload will be the special clan video that I keep teasing you guys about. Does that sound good? You'll finally get the breakdown of my Titan's armor pieces. And, you'll see what the people that I constantly surround myself with look like in-game. Trust me, there are some good armor sets in there. And, this video will possibly be the funniest video that I ever upload because I have so many funny clips saved up for this. But wait, there's more. If you stayed tuned till the end of the video, I will be showing you the current Titan that you're seeing in the background footage um, that I've been using for Elimination. And... Oh man, you're going to be so disappointed. I'm happy with myself, but you're going to be disappointed because I'm using One-Eyed Mask. But hear me out, Trials is very sweaty, and you just you need to do everything possible to get that edge, to get to the lighthouse, to get flawless. Do you understand? And honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to be using One-Eyed Mask in Trials. I think Antaeus Wards is going to be like my main um, exotic armor piece, but you know, we still have to see what the future holds for me and what future changes Bungie has in mind before I can completely uh, decide on what armor piece that I want. Anyway, sorry about those mini rants there, um, but as always, I'm Muffin Bandit and I'm going to be your fashion Sherpa to stop you from looking like a toy that your mom got you at a garage sale and instead get you looking like the snack that you are. We're going to be starting with Dino Mike and his Ivory Vanguard. He has on the Midnight Exigent Helm and Gauntlets, both which you get from the Escalation Protocol event. For his chest, he has on the Virtuous Plate. Um, you get that from the Season 9 Season Pass. The legs are the Phenotype Plasticity Greaves. You get that from the Season 8 Season Pass. Um, for his class item, he has on the Phenotype Plasticity Mark, which you also get from the Season 8 Season Pass. And for the shader, he has on the Gift of the Nine. And how fitting, you get this from Trials. Alright, so let's talk about Dynamite here for a second. Um, I saw his post and I immediately fell in love with it. I don't know why I've been uh, really liking the white shaders lately, but it's so easy to get caught up in them. I did that whole entire video on all the white knights uh, like two videos ago. And he just looks so clean and he looks like he's ready for Trials. Maybe Trials of the Nine and not actually Trials of Osiris because, you know, Osiris has got more yellow and earth tones to it. And he's got the whole Egyptian stuff going on. But... He's ready for trials nonetheless. I mean, he's even got the shotgun, which we all know already that it's going to be super annoying to deal with shotguns in Trials of Osiris, but you know, got to do what you got to do in the meta. Next up, we have Family Photo Shoot and his Reaper. Um, he's kind of basing this off of uh, the Overwatch Reaper, which I can definitely kind of see in it. I see the inspiration and I think he did a good job, but hear me out, I'm kind of seeing more of a assassin from like Assassin's Creed 2 or you know any of the Assassin's Creed games. Like the mask kind of makes it look like you know like Italy and their masquerade balls that they have or masquerade parties that they have. Um, I only wish that you can put on Liar's Handshake with this so that way you're able to have you know that whole hidden blade action going on. For his head, you'll recognize that this is the Celestial Nighthawk. It is a random drop. You see hunters using it all the freaking time. For his arms, chest, and legs, he has on the Northlight Grips, Vest, and Strides, all which you get from the Dawning events. 
first class item he has on the Cloak of the Great Hunt, which you get from the last Wish Raid. For the shader he has on Noble Constant Red and Welded Brass, both which you get from Bright Engrams. You know, the more and more that I do this, it makes me regret the fact that I didn't get the Northlight gear for my Hunter because you guys have been making so many really good looking armor sets with all the Northlight stuff, both with the Hunter and the Titan. But I got the Titan ones, so it's kind of okay, but I wish I would have gotten the Hunter ones. Next up we have Lone Z and the Trickster's White Shadow. For his head he has on the Soaring Sword um, helmet. And this is the one that came out uh, during Season 2 of Crucible that you had to do a quest for to get these ornaments. And this is also the one that came out alongside of the Titan chest plate with all the feathers that I still don't have and that I'm still really angry about. I say it every time, Bungie, bring it back. For his arms, he has on the Virtuous Grips and that you get from the Season 9 Season Pass. For the vest, you have the Vest of the Great Hunt and you get this from the Last Wish Raid. For his legs, he has on the Gemini Jester with a Trickster ornament. The Gemini Jester is a random drop, it's an exotic, and the Trickster ornament you got from Season 2 um, at Reverse Store. Let's stop for a second and talk about the exotic, because I haven't seen the Gemini Jester before. I don't even know what it does, but the Trickster ornament kind of makes it look like there's a full-size keyboard at his side. I'm kind of expecting some RGB to come out of here, maybe a Razer logo on the side or something. But anyway, you make it look really good. Good job. And for your class item, you have the Omega Mechanos Cloak. And this you get from Season 2 Bright Engrams. For his shader, he has on the Gift of the Nine that you got from Trials of the Nine. Next up, we have Cathedral Ward with his Savior build. And for his head, he has on the Gemsum Knight Helm that you get from Io. For his arms and chest, he has on the Virtuous Gauntlets and Plate that you get from the Season 9 Season Pass. With the legs, he has on the Frost Strike Greaves that you get from the Dawning Event. For his class item, you get the Virtuous Mark, again from the Season 9 Season Pass. For the shader, he has on Noble Constant Red, that you get from the Bright Engrams. Let's stop for a second and talk about the Jimson Knight armor set, because I've been noticing a lot more people starting to use it on the subreddit, and I kind of low-key think, but cannot prove, that it was because of my friend Death by Dusk. I don't know if it's one of those situations when you buy a car, and all of a sudden you start seeing a lot of those cars on the road, it probably is, but you know what, I'm going to go ahead and just say he started the trend, just cause. Also, this Titan kind of looks like the female version of his, and I'll throw his Titan up on screen for a second just so you can see. So, um, Dusk, if you're watching, put down your pretzels or your Lay's chips, whatever you're eating this time. Just go ahead and contact this person, and maybe your Titan and his Titan can probably take a long walk on the beach and you can talk about red and white shaders for hours. So up next we have Pip in a can and he's starting to become a regular here on the show. This is his third appearance and I'm not doing this on purpose. I kind of go through the subreddit, I don't even pay attention to people's names and I kind of just upvote the ones I like and save them for later. And as I was typing up the script for the episode, I'm kind of like typing in his armor pieces and then thinking of a name for his warlock. But I started typing in his name and I was like, oh my god, this is Pippin a can again. Why do I keep liking your armor sets? I mean, not why, because of course they look really good. But how do you just, you post so much and you post so much gold. Um, thank you. But also, stop being so good. For his head, he has on the Liminal Voyager hood, which you get from Season 4 Bright Engrams. For his arms, he has on the Getaway Artist with Irene Swagger, which you got from Season 6 Eververse. For his chest, he has on the Scattered Horn robes, which you get from the Tangled Shore. With his legs, he has on the Imperial Cartographer boots, which you get from Season 8 Eververse Store. For the class item, you get the Northlight Bond, which you get from the Dawning. And his shader is Malachi's Deck Bramble, which you get from Bright Engrams. And by the way, the reason I called it Diaper Butt is because that's what he called it. And he kind of does have a Diaper Butt, but this is the best looking Diaper Butt I've ever seen. That's kind of weird to say, isn't it? Never mind. And Pippin a can, I'm just gonna go out and say it. I've liked all three of your armor sets very much. You are the best looking warlock I've seen on the whole subreddit. And I mean, I guess I'll see you next week because I'm pretty sure you're gonna post something else great by the next time that I make another video. Speaking of really good looking warlocks, Wave Z and his diamond. Jesus Christ, I regret not starting my warlock last season. Like I said last video because 
these robes are going to look so freaking good with everything, and they look really good right now. The robes that I'm talking about are the phenotype plasticity robes that you got from the Season 8 Season Pass. For his head, he has on the Iron Chuj hood that you got from Season 3 Iron Banner, and that's actually an ornament, a really dope one. For his arms, he has on the Anaka Seeker 4 that you got from Season 1 Crucible. For his legs, he has on Transversive Steps, and that's an exotic that is a random drop with the Stride to the Edge ornament that you got from Season 3 Eververse. For his class item, he has on the Anaka Friend Bond, and that is also an ornament that you get from Season 2 Crucible. Maybe, because I can't really tell what it is. It's really hard to see. I had to zoom in, and uh, WaveZ didn't really jot down in the comments what it was, so I kind of guessed by comparing pictures here. For his shader, he has on the Gift of the Nine, and that is from Trials of the Nine. You know what, WaveZ? Your Warlock looks so good. I'm going to go ahead and give you this week's seal of approval just because i really like the way he looks the transversive steps with the stride to the edge have been slowly becoming like my favorite warlock armor piece it basically is fashion meta i'm noticing for you guys and it looks he looks mean and i would hate to confront him in trials okay so that's gonna be it for our guardians but um i didn't really find a lot of guns that kind of stood out to me this week or ships or sparrows or anything like that. So, I kind of made my own for you guys. In Spirit of Trials, I'm going to be showing you guys my Waking Vigil. So this weapon is really sticky, and if you play a lot of PvP, you're going to know that a good amount of people really use this gun and really like it. It's nice to land headshots with, and I threw on a Cyrus Modular Shader to get the white and red look going for it, just because it looks really good, and go ahead and if you haven't used this weapon, farm for it. It'll come in handy, I promise. And this weapon looks really good with a whole bunch of shaders. So if you guys have it, I suggest taking it out of your vault. And then just trying a bunch of shaders with it because they all look really good. And you're going to need it in PvP, I promise you. I just picked up this weapon and I'm already falling in love with it. Next up, I'm going to be showing you guys the Reckless Oracle. I previously had on the Gambit Emerald shader on it. Um, go ahead and try that because it looks really good. But... Right now I have on Kalos' Selected because it kind of makes it look like a Leviathan raid weapon even though it's not, it's from the Garden of Salvation raid. If you guys don't already have it, do the Garden of Salvation raid. Do yourself a favor, this weapon is really fun, it's really easy to use, and it's only going to get better next season because of the buffs. And now as a little bit of a bonus for you guys that stay to the end, here is my current look. I call this the one Eyed. Oh shit, I forgot this is YouTube and I can't say. So anyway, um, for his head, he has on the One-Eyed Mask with a Gian ornament, and this is a random drop, and you got the ornament from the Season 7 Eververse store. For the arms, he has on the Northlight Gauntlets, this was from the Dawning. For his chest piece, he has on the Phenotype Plasticity Plate, this was from the Season 8 Season Pass. For his legs, he has on the Virtuous Greaves, also from the Season 9 Season Pass. Um, for his class item, he has a Northlight Mark that you get from the Dawning. And the shader is the Dreaming Spectrum, which you get from dismantling Dreaming City weapons. And this was just kind of a little happy accident. Um, I wanted to try out One-Eyed Mask because I don't really use it too much in PvP activities because I feel bad. But, um, you know, like I said, Trials is very sweaty. And you have to use every single little boost that you can get to get to the Lighthouse and to get Flawless. So that's why I was trying it out. Um, not 100% sure if I'm going to keep using one item mask. Like I said, Antaeus wards seem to be the way to go so I can uh, counter sniper shots. I know you guys don't really care too much about the function because everybody here is mostly into fashion and, you know, how well it actually looks. I like him. He was a happy accident and just something to throw in there for you guys. And if you're curious on how I come up with armor sets, and I mean, it's not rocket science, but... Um, I'm going to be making a video on just coming up with an armor set. I'm going to be starting off with an exotic and going from there and seeing what we can create together. But anyway, it's time to end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching yet another one of my very nerdy videos. But if you're like me and you want to nerd out about this stuff, like the new armor sets that Bungie is just now showing screenshots of, um, a reminder, my Discord link is down below, so come and hang out with us. Remember, 
Leaving more than 50 likes by next Wednesday will get you the clan video next. Trust me, it's going to be a good one because there are a lot of funny clips in there from the clan. Also, be on the lookout for a bonus video talking about the new season's armor sets coming out pretty soon. No deadline yet, but expect it here in the next few days. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and carefully caress the notification bell. Because so many people that come and hang out and watch my videos aren't subscribed. I was looking at my analytics the other day, and I think like 77% of the people that watch the videos aren't subscribed yet. Um, so, consider subscribing, and until next time guys, stay beautiful.